time I was seeing him, I was kind of just using it as a psychology experiment, and I didn't really, I didn't really like the guy. I more just wanted to see if I could break his heart, and <laughs> it was fun. So did you break his heart then? Just a wee bit. I hope I did a little damage. Wow. Okay. Why do you hope that you did a little damage? Just, I like humbling men. You like humbling men? Yeah. It's like my pastime. Your past. It's the date, Mass, and yes, we're back again with another banger. Shout out to my new subscribers. I see a few came in. Shout a dope podcast on the New Normal podcast last night. Make sure you go subscribe to that channel. Got some new content on the way. We're going to get into today is the ex-girlfriend collection. And I'm going to break down some, some interesting concepts as to why you find yourself, if this applies to you, you find yourself continuously swapping out girlfriends. You're going into one relationship that doesn't work. You're going to another relationship that doesn't work. And the impact that this has on you, you know, again, you got a lot of men that have has that have been conditioned into behaving and doing the same practices that women do that ultimately equal failure. The reason why you keep changing women is because you keep changing yourself. You have to pick yourself first, meaning you have to choose what you want to be. A lot of the successful men and a lot of the plan and not plan, but the the blueprint to success stands right in front of us. You look at a lot of successful men, not the celebrities, not the rappers. Now, if you want to include some of them, some of them have some of the same attributes. But look at some of the people in your circle. I have some friends who have a successful lifestyle, uh, beautiful families, things that I aspire to have one day. And I noticed one common trait about that man is that the woman that he chose fits the person that he chose to be. A lot of men have no identity because they did not have a father. They did not have guidance. They did not have purpose. And they just did not do the work to find that. Because if you don't have something that you wish to possess or that you desire you have to do the work as to how to obtain it whether that's wealth whether that is status whether that is a physique you have to find the information and then you have to learn how to apply it and learning how to apply it is more of a trial and error So a lot of men go through these relationships that take a toll on them and make them bitter, that make them hurt, that make them lash out because they don't know who they are. The moment you pick who you want to be and what you're going to be and you start putting in the work, the discipline, the sacrifice, the dedication into being that man, the woman that you pick should align with that. You're swapping out women because you're swapping out the person that you want to be. You're swapping out and you're changing out the women because you're changing. You have not yet chosen your identity. You were not given an identity that comes from your father, your grandfather. So you just picking women, picking women, picking the wrong women. You see this video in front of this one. You see this woman say she picked men and dated men as a psychological experiment. She wanted to humble men because she has a jaded spirit. Because she wanted to bring men down, if you will. Because in more than more cases than not, she was brought down herself. And it came to find out that this woman is a stripper. Which you can conclude or assume she did not have a strong masculine father in her life. So she's jaded. She's doing things to spite her absent father. And a lot of times you see these women on porn and in the strip club and et cetera, et cetera. They're lashing out and doing doing these things because they know it's going to spite their father or disgrace or bring disgrace to his name. She's telling this uh, panel that she wanted to humble men and bring them down to her level because that's basically what she wanted to do. She knew she did not have any business being with this man, so 
if a woman finds out that she's not good enough for you, she'll punish you for picking her because she knows she does not measure up to your standards. If she doesn't punish you, she'll just simply leave because she sees the potential. She'll sabotage the relationship. She sees that she is not the woman that you that will that will compliment you. You're picking the women before you pick yourself. And you're wondering why the relationship is not working out is because you're not picking a woman that aligns with your identity, your character, your principles, your morals. That's why men take cheating and disloyalty so seriously. But one common thing that I notice about these men that have the success that a lot, a lot of men aspire to have, they're consistently with one woman. We, I know we've been taught to deal with as many women as you can. This, that is the modern day, uh, I would say, narrative. That is modern day advice for men due to the nature of women and their behavior. So I can see why that would be the information given out. However, I do not subscribe to that. I only subscribe to that if you know you're not monogam you're not you're not going to be a monogamous male once you identify that it's not in your in your palette that is not your character then you can move in a polygamous way that does not necessarily mean it running through women after women that is necessary that basically is just stating picking the right women plural that is going to fit your identity picking the right women that is not going to sabotage or run off on you at the first opportunity to do so picking the right women that knows and understands what and who you are and who you will become you hear these women talking about all of this discernment they don't have any of that because if they did why do you have so many women on tiktok and instagram crying about the previous men about not being able to get a man and not and being single if they had all of this discernment and wisdom, why are they on the Internet crying or shaming passport bros or shaming uh, men that are red pill trying to bring down the manosphere? If they had this discernment, you see, so this epidemic that you have in this ex-girlfriend and ex-boyfriend uh, epidemic, the situation behind that. It is rooted in not knowing who you are, because once you know who you are and what you're going to be and what you're building again, I, I spoke about this last night on the podcast. If you notice everything that we use that has value, it is founded in a platform. Your I, If you got an iPhone, your iOS platform, the Android platform, the social media platform, Instagram platform, Shopify platform. The platform is a foundation of a number of things that make it work in an optimal way. So as a man, you have to have a platform of foundational elements, dedication, discipline, focus, sacrifice, intelligence, knowledge, skills. You have to have a platform of those things to make yourself as valuable as you can. This whole high value is just rooted in money and status. It's really not. This is what women have championed because that is all that matters to them. You cannot make what matters to a woman matter to you. So again, this is why women have no area to set the foundations for a relationship. They set the foundations for sex and reproduction. You set the foundation and the rules and regulations for the relationship. If you want to get in this relationship, this is what I need. If you cannot provide this, if you do not possess these characters, if you don't know how to properly vet the women, then you will be taken advantage of. You will be another person in the collection. You'll just gather. You'll just have another ex. So you have to ask yourself, were you really the problem? If you meet this woman and you're her sixth boyfriend, you, you, you think you're special? You think you're the one. You think you're the one that's going to change things, right? She was in love with the last five the same way she was in love with you, if not more. I have a saying that a woman cannot give her best twice. This is why men pursue and desire youth and fertility so much. But you have the cougar culture running around with women in their mid 30s to 40s to 50s are on Instagram, TikTok, showing their box with the leggings, doing the doing the dancing playing like they're happy. No, you're not. 
because happiness happens in real life, not on social media. The moment you have to go to social media to say you're happy, I know for a fact that you're lying and you're not happy. The moment you go to social media talking about your dating experiences, this and that, and you don't date these type of guys, lets me know that you don't date those type of guys because those type of guys, if they're really those type of guys, would monopolize your time the way you won't even have time to post on social media because you're going to be enjoying the company in real life too much. You see women making post after post after post. How are you making so many posts if you're working, taking care of yourself, productive and dealing with a man of means but you have a post every hour on your social media that doesn't even make sense how many hours and how many hours are you sleeping when is lunch when is when you see you you don't even have a, there's not enough time in a day so that's why i say i have grown to have a disdain for social media from a interaction standpoint because people are dishonest they're not going to show the real them they're not going to really show their it's cap. You must understand that you keep changing women because you keep changing yourself. You're trying to acquiesce to what the women are saying or oh, the women like Thuggo and, and Pookie. So you try to play as if you're that. But you end up going back because that's not who you truly are. You have to. It's OK to stay in your lane. It is OK. I have a collection of ex-girlfriends and. Some of them are the same. Some of them are a little different. None of them, I wouldn't say, are bad women. They just made bad choices. Some of them had bad character. Yes, maybe one or two. But for the most part, if I made you my woman, you had, a, you had more good traits than bad. That's why I always say, look at the overall report card. You're not going to have the perfect woman because you're not going to be the perfect man. But women tend to sabotage these situations because they think perfection exists when it does not they see perfection when they're in the perfect state of uh, status uh, euphoria after they've had some good sex ate some good food they're feeling perfect at that moment because they see their man is pleased but they think that state is going to be a constant 24 hours a day i just mentioned this in my video yesterday this woman says she wants to have high chemistry sex trips fun all that doesn't and she's in her mid 30s a fool and this is why you have to get out of their way if you don't get out of their way again you your collection will grow and then you have to ask yourself how how am i allowing so many women to come into my space and affect me to where i have to regroup to where i have to rebuild to where i have to start over after a while, you'll say, you know what? It's not them, it's me. I always have that mindset. It's not them, it's me. It's me that have to do the work. It's me that had to start from ground zero. We have to take it back to the basics. No woman is going to build and do the 50-50 with you. That is a wrap. You shouldn't even have that in your mind. You should not even look for a woman to contribute anything financially to your uh, situation. You want to have your home in your name, your cars in your name. You put her on the insurance. Hey, I got an extra car. See, your, your car is down. Hey, I got an extra car. You know, I'm going to put you on the insurance. You can, you can move around. This is only when she's proven to be a part or a permanent fixture. It may, it may not even be permanent. It may just be temporary. But she's proven to have some type of value and trustworthiness that you can lend your vehicle to her because she's given herself to you but do not let your collection grow and grow and grow before you say hey i need to do some work and i need to find my identity because i'm picking the women that does not fit my identity and who i am and who i want to be but you guys let me know what you think about this video like comment subscribe it's the date master